Today we are going to take a look at how to fill the DV lottery form, also known as the American lottery form. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you're new here, kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you are old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So the American Lottery has been opened, the DV Lottery of course. And today I'm going to show you how to fill the forms and submit it online. First of all, you go to their official website. I'll put the link in the description so you can check it over there. That is dvlottery.state dot government this is the official website or this is the official url that you are going to use first of all over here we have the dv 2020 instructions i would plead with you that you take your time to read the instructions all of them and then you check the photo examples over here i have downloaded the pdf so i'll put that also in the description if you want to read the pdf now if you registered for 2019 dv lottery here this is how you check your results so you can come to check status over here and then if you are registering for 2020 this is where you come so you come to the begin entry mind you you, you can do this yourself you don't need any third person to do this for you because the forms is very easy to fill so when you click on the begin entry you enter this particular code over here and it is in caps so you always have to make sure your caps lock is on and then you type very correctly. If you can't see it, you just have to use the change the capture code over here. If you click on it, it is going to give you another set of code. And then you click on submit when you are done. Now this is the form that you are going to fill. Mind you, you can fill in caps lock or you can fill anyhow you want it because it is just going to give you the standard size that you can fill with. So first, you're going to input your name, that is all your names, if you have a middle name or any of them. So I'm going to use a different name at all because I've already filled mine. So first, I'm going to enter the last name, that is Boatin. And then you come over here and you enter your la first name, that is this is what I'm using for today. If you have a middle name, you are going to input it over here. But then if you don't have, you're just going to take no middle name. That is it. All right. So here, in this case, we have no middle name. So let's take over here. And then you go ahead and pick your gender. I think that is self-explanatory. Now, the date of birth, when starting with a month, they are not requiring that you type your month as in january or february if it is january you're just going to type 01 february 02 you don't have to type the whole of the month so here i'm going to use january and then the day it is not monday tuesday wednesday you're just going to input the number also so let's say 20th 30th so i'm going to use 20th for this one and that is 20 and then the year you type in Figures also, that is numbers. So I'm going to use 1996 for this particular person. Now you move ahead to the city where you were born. Most people actually don't know where they were born. So if you don't know where you were born, you just take the birth city unknown. But for this particular tutorial, we're going to use Kumase for the person. That is the city where you were born. Okay, so we move ahead. Now to the country where you were born. It is different from the country you are living in now. So you choose the country where you were born. And in this case, we are going to use Ghana. The country of eligibility for the DV program is the same as the country you were born in. That is, if you were born in Ghana and currently you are, you, you are living in, let's say, Nigeria and you are applying for this particular program, you are going to use Ghana as your country of eligibility. So here they are asking you, are you claiming eligibility based on the country where you were born? So if you are born in Ghana and currently, let's say you are living in Togo, you can just maintain Ghana as your country of eligibility. That is because some countries, example, Nigeria, 
is not among the countries of eligibility for the DV lottery. So you can choose yes over here and then you are good to go. The entrance photo. This is the part that so many people have problems with. And I took my time to make a video on how to crop your picture perfectly for this particular program. So I'll put the link in the description and on the YouTube card over there so you can check that also. I will entreat you to go and take a look at that video before you come to crop your um, picture for this particular DV lottery because it is very necessary. Anything aside what they request, it is not going to be accepted. So over here, I've already done the cropping and everything. So I'm going to choose new photo and I'll go to the desktop over there. And I'm using this particular sample. This is a, a picture I got from Google. I have no idea who this picture belongs to, but I'm just using it for educational purposes. So you click open and then this particular picture loads. So you move ahead. Now the mailing address in care of over here simply means that you are not having a mailbox and you are providing another mailbox of somebody. So you are going to bring that person's name first. So in care of, as you can see over here, when I was filling my, I used the Roman Catholic Church back at my place. So if you don't want to stress yourself, you can just ignore this area and then you put the box over. So let's say PO box seven and then you come to the address line too. That is if you are living in a street or something, you can just provide that, but it is not uh, mandatory. It is optional, so you can leave that also. So here is PO box seven and then you go to the city or town and I'm going to choose Kumasi for this one, All right? And then the district, state, or province, you can leave that one also because it is not mandatory. Or better still, you can use um, Kumasi Metro because that is the province or something like that. So here I'm going to leave it. Now back to the postal code. The postal code is, um, let's say, your zip code. Those people living in Europe or the western world has the zip code but here in ghana we don't have a zip code so you can use the country code that is plus 233 but you are going to ignore the plus 233 or better still you can just leave it and move on and choose no poster or zip code so we choose no poster or zip code and then you select your country and here we are using ghana now you move ahead and you choose where you live today so like I was explaining about the country of eligibility, if you are born in Ghana but you are living in Togo, you are going to choose Ghana for your country where you were born. But where you live today, you are going to choose Togo. So let's assume this person was born in Ghana and still living in Ghana. So we choose Ghana for the person. Your phone number is not mandatory, it is optional so you can just leave that one also. Now, to your email, you provide a valid email address. <clears throat> In this case, I'm going to provide any email at all because this is not something. So let's say Kingsley Boatin at gmail.com. And then you confirm your email address. Now we move to the next section of the form that is your educational background. And the least you can have is a high school degree, right? And if you don't have a high school degree, you should have at least two years of working experience before you can apply for this DV lottery. So in this case, I'm going to choose. Uh, now, over here, high school, no degree means that you've completed some courses or some subjects in high school, but you, you did not complete, right? And then high school with a degree, means that you graduated from high school and then if you don't have high school or let's say you didn't even complete primary i'll suggest that you choose the vocational but you have a working experience you choose a vocational because that would be much more beneficial to you and then some university courses with 
some in university courses means that you are still in the process but so it basically follows the same trend so in this case i'm going to choose some university courses for this particular person and then we move on to the next one so like i was saying you must have a minimum of high school diploma reflecting the completion of all courses that is a must that you have you should have before you can apply for this program now we move on to the next one what is your current marital status over here are married married and my spouse is not a citizen or u.s permanent and then married and my spouse is a u.s citizen so you just have to determine your marital status in this case you're going to use a married for this particular person now if you are married you are going to need to provide your spouse information over here so assuming we choose married and my spouse is not a u.s citizen you're going to choose that one but you're going to provide every detail about your spouse whether the male or the female you're going to provide every detail about them and then over here is number of children so since we chose a married definitely we're going to have um, a zero children so we put zero over there but then if you are married and you have children or if you're not married but you have children you're just going to uh, put in the number of children that you have over here now children might include biological children legally adopted and stepchildren so you have to consider all those first and the these particular infos are very very much needed you have to read them to make sure that you understand clearly before putting in any figure so i beg or i'll plead with you that you take your time to put in this information okay so at this point you can just go over again and then you check if you left anything and then i forgot that i left the country state or province of where you were born or let's say the mailing address anything that you left in over here that is the district or country or province or state you can just add it at this point i'm going to take a different picture because i got to realize that the picture that we chose earlier does not have a white background you see this one and then this one so i'm going to choose the the picture that i just edited with a white background and then i'll upload that so when everything is done you can just go through the whole information again or the form again and then you click on continue over here all right so this is what you're going to have if you entered everything correctly this is what you're going to have so it will be just like a summary of all the information that you entered this is an assumed uh, this is an assumed uh, let's say form filling so everything doesn't have to be correct but then if you are filling yours you just have to take time and make sure that everything is well entered and all the name your your name spelling everything the date of birth everything is filled and you are going to have this particular uh, summary now if you click on submit over here you're going to have a particular page but i don't want to submit this as it is just going to feed the database or it is just going to send an on you like a form that you're not going to use so i'm going to show you a form of what i i got now if you click on submit you're going to receive a particular information and i'll be displaying that on your screen right now this is the form that you are going to actually have it has a particular code on it please make sure you copy that particular code or you print it out and keep it at a very safe place because that is what you're going to use to go and take your visa or in case you win that is what you're going to use to check your status and this is how it looks like i'm just covering my picture over my my code over there because it is very much important over there so that is what you're going to have and that is basically the steps you go through in filling all the forms please let me know in the comment section if you are having problems or anything and then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if this was quite helpful to you thank you so much for watching this video and i'll get back to you with another one it's innocent here bye